Good morning. Good Monday morning. Don't you hate cheerful people on Monday morning? Don't you just want to go, ah. Anyway, it's Monday. It's time to party, party, party. Monday morning. Woohoo! Okay, sorry. <laughs> I, I have just figured out how to use my webcam on my laptop. And um, I'm afraid I'm going to be a little dangerous until the newness wears off. So bear with me. But I thought I would do another vlog as an excuse to play around with my webcam. And um, that, of course, always brings up the question of what in the heck am I going to vlog about? So I thought I would do the Monday morning questions, Monday morning mingle questions, hosted by 80mileperhourmom.com. And the first question is, who has the best voice you've ever heard or who has the sexiest voice you've ever heard? Wow. Can't really pinpoint one person. I think pretty much any man with a low voice and an accent pretty much does it for me. I mean, seriously. For instance, Clive Owen's voice, very sexy. I love his accent, and I just love the timbre of his voice. Just, I don't know, it's distinctive, and you know it's him when he talks, and I just think it's really sexy. I think Alan Rickman's voice is to die for. If you don't know who Alan Rickman is, he's the actor who plays Snape on Harry Potter. And apparently this very, success, this very successful actor uh, does a lot of voice work because his voice is very recognizable and very um, distinctive and very sexy. I, this, I, his, the art, ah, I see I can't even talk. I just get tongue-tied just thinking about it. It is um, articulate, it is educated, it is very just distinct uh, when he speaks. And I just, I just find that a huge turn on. It's just very sexy. Um, I think Hugh Grant's voice is very sexy, um, mainly because I just think it's fun. It's just a fun voice because, you know, his humor. and You can just kind of, it's just laced with humor. And you can just, you can just hear it in his voice when he talks. I also think Ben Diesel has a really sexy, grainy, raw, dangerous kind of voice. And um, I don't know. It just does it for me. I love the dangerous, low voices. I just do. Um, let's see. The next question is, What would you rather be smarter, more athletic, or better looking? Well, let's think about that a moment. Um, we all know that I'm pretty darn smart. In fact, borderline genius, if I may. So I can't possibly be any smarter than I already am. And we all know that I grace your monitors with my breathtaking beauty. So I can't possibly be better looking than I, than I already am. I mean, that's impossible. So it's got to be athletic. And I think I would choose athletic because... To have an athletic body means to have a healthy body. And a healthy body means you live longer. <laughs> so healthy body, hopefully a healthy mind. And um, you're comfortable in your skin. And, you know, I already have an Amazon body. I'm already somewhat athletic. But um, I think that would just really would rather have a real toned, fine-tuned body that would sustain me for several years. I will be able to run around after my grandchildren and, um, you know, chase my husband down when he runs away from me. <laughs> so, and if you, last question, if you were a doctor, which specialty would you choose? Wow, that's a great question. It's a hard question to answer because, first of all, I'm not sure I could be a doctor. I'm not sure I had the stomach for it, and not just the physical part, but the mental part, too. I mean, I am just not sure that I would be able to mentally handle losing my patients. They die on me. Um, you know, you get attached to them, get to know them, and then something happens, and you can't save them. I just don't think I have the mental strength to deal with all that, and kudos to all the doctors out there that can. I don't know how they do it. I think if I were going to be a doctor and choose a specialty, it would have to be something that 
is low risk, perhaps, like maybe a bone doctor. I, I, mean, I don't know, I'm just guessing, but it just seems like setting bones would be relatively low risk as far as like losing a patient. Um, I don't know, that would be pretty much it. That's all I can think of off the top of my head anyway, that would be maybe a low risk kind of doctor because maybe just a general health doctor, um, someone who would maybe do a pre-diagnosis before sending them on to a specialist. Specialist, I don't know. And that's, that's all I could come up with because, like I said, I just don't know that I have the mental strength to lose patients. You know, I just, I don't know. So those are my answers to the questions for this week. And hopefully I'll get around to doing next week's questions. They look interesting as well. And if you guys blog, let me know so I can come over and watch your blog. And if you've never vlogged but wanted to, jump in and do it. It's a lot of fun. It's not as scary as you think it is. And once you see yourself acting stupid once or twice, yeah, you know, <laughs> it gets easier and easier to act stupid. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, look at me. I'm pretty stupid. <laughs> anyway, okay, so... That's it for today. You guys have an excellent Monday. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.